Oh, that's right, everybody. Another real-time edit a week after the last one. Yeah, I'm keeping up on the schedule here. All right, I got this beautiful reddish egret. Before we get into that, just a quick plug. Head on over to rayhennessy.com. You can go to the learn menu there, click on all online classes. That's how you can find out more about all the different online classes I offer that can teach you exactly, slowly, step-by-step, how I'm editing both in Lightroom and Photoshop. You can buy them individually or you can even get a bundle for both courses or check out my favorite course right now, uh, the the one I've worked the most hard on and I think is the best overall course to learn. All this post-processing stuff is really good, of course, but if you really want to learn how I capture photos, how I see through the lens, what it's like being out with me in the field, this is the course for you. 27 bucks a month, that's it, and you get access to all of this stuff. And in fact, I think... There we go. Look at that. I was way off on my last video. I said almost 100 hours. <laughs> I was way off. I think it was just 100 lessons. That's what I was trying to say. Over 130 lessons, uh, videos I have right now. But it adds up to a lot of hours of content. This is a breakdown of uh, what you get to see. But my point is you get to learn by watching me. So you're seeing over the lens, what the habitat looks like through the lens as I'm shooting, seeing my settings composition, and then of course the post-processing side of things. So that's my plug. Check that out. LearnWildlifePhotos.com or just head on over to RayHennessy.com. Now let's dig into this reddish egret. Shot this guy down in Florida. A little bit wider focal length, I think. Let's see. What did I shoot this one at? Yeah, 240 millimeter. I went a little wider specifically just to show like these palms and stuff like that up there. I don't like this little breaking wave down there, but I don't see a way of composing it out, like cropping it out here. Um, I'll make sure I go straight here, but I don't want to lose those palm trees in that top left. I mean, I guess I can go just a little bit. Oh, wait. I'm off proportion there. Let me go as shot. There we go. We'll slide that over. Yeah, that still works. I mean, it's getting a little far, like closer to center, but it's still off center there enough. So, okay. Not a lot to do here in Lightroom. I think I'll just pop the tone curve up a little bit. Yeah, that's really nice. And then let's see if I can just get a little bit more blue in the water. The sky has a nice deep blue, but I would like to get the or I'm sorry, the water to be a little bit closer match to that. There we go. That's good. And let's do a quick subject select, except I'm going to kind of isolate that just up to the head here because I really do want that to pop out. So there we go. We'll lighten it. We'll warm it to get those warm tones on it. Maybe even a little magenta, a little saturation on it. And then I'll just drop those blacks, pop the whites there. That should give me a nice little... Yeah, almost too much, actually. So I'll back off that and the exposure. There we go. All right, that's looking good. I mean, gosh, there's not a lot else to do in Photoshop, but let's just head in here and see if there's anything I can think of. There's nothing really to clean up. It's a clean shot. I placed the bird's head in the green on purpose because I knew it would stand out the most there. You know what we can do? We can actually clean up his feathers. He's got, like, all kinds of junk all over them there. I don't know what he got into or what got onto him. But in any case, it's pretty easy to just kind of hit this stuff with the spot healing brush there, and it, it all sort of blends in. It's certainly not perfect, but you can see, like, it's maintaining some of the feather structure and detail in some of those areas. Um, I mean, goodness, yeah, I really don't know. If I really want to get picky, there's, like, picnic benches back here, you know, so I can kind of clean those up just by cloning them out there. But they were out of focus enough that I don't think, unless I told everybody they're picnic benches, you probably wouldn't know. So that's a good thing that they're nice and out of focus back there. Um, yeah, it really is not a lot else to do here. The lighting was really dramatic and from the side, which gave me like darker overall background and made the bird stand out. So I think, I think that's about it. Let me just lean in. I'm just here. I found one thing to do. I'm just going to really lean into that darker kind of dramatic lighting and we'll just like the shadow side of like the back of the neck and the back of the bird there we'll just kind of darken those up a little bit and then hit a little bit on that beach sand there and that should sort of just kind of exaggerate that dramatic light you know so it gives that more shape to the light so there we go that one's done let me get it saved i'll get back into lightroom show you the total before and after not going to be a huge difference here, but that's pretty sweet. It means I shot it good for a change and didn't have a lot to do with it. But there's always still something, I think, that can be improved on a photo when you get into Photoshop and Lightroom 
and hit it with the raw file. I mean, uh, sorry, hit it with post-processing on the raw file because the raw file is flat to begin with, right? It's meant to be edited. So there you go. This looks fine to begin with, but check that out. I mean, that's just much better, cleaner. Look at the color. It just stands out a little bit more. So that's that. If you're interested in learning how I do all that step-by-step, step, rayhennessy.com. Check it out.